Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Z James, and this is Z32 Workshop. And this beside me, behind me, is my 1993 Nissan 300ZX convertible autocross car, weekend car. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's see your quick recap. Um, where we're at, this video is going to be about uh, if you need a replacement engine for your VG30DE. Um, just so you know, this video is going to pertain mostly to the United States, not to the rest of the world. Uh, because here in the United States, we only got the VG30DE in two cars. One of them is this 300ZX. It was the 1993 to 1997 Infiniti J30. Same engine with about, well, I would say about 19 different things different between them. Uh, what I mean by the same engine, same heads, same block. All that fun stuff. Cams are all the same, far as I know, but there are subtle differences. So the reason I'm doing this video is because when I bought my car, it had a bad motor, it had rod knock. Actually, it was this motor sitting right here. Uh, I've hung on to it just because, well, I'm a hoarder, but uh, it's also good to have mock-ups and I can pull parts off of it I needed to. Uh, basically, I uh, had a spun bearing and had ended up getting rod knock. Um, and the motor there, is the twin turbo motor by evidence of the turbos. That was from the parts car that I disassembled here last year. And if, as you can tell from this channel, I am accumulating parts to eventually do a twin turbo swap for my convertible. Um, but this video is to help guys who need a, to source a cheap VG30DE. Uh, what I mean by cheap is when, when it finally let go, it was back problematic. I needed a new block and everything. Um, so I searched the internet for stuff and guys were wanting 750 to a grand or more for good VG30 DEs. Um, you know, the 222 horsepower stuff. You know, so this, I mean, that was just those. But after some good internet sleuthing and education for myself, I found out that the Infinity J30s were the same engine. There's subtle differences, but the differences are minute. So once I found out the junkyards were wanting 750 for that engine, right? But VG30DE out of a J30 engine was literally half cost, 30 50 bucks. So I was like, well, why would I not just buy the cheaper engine? It's the same engine. And I have all the stuff off of this guy that was would have been bad at the time and just swap it over to make the 50 application. I mean, that's just Smart cookie there, you know, be smarter, work smarter, not harder type of situation. Scrooge McDuck, it's a great quote. So this video is to help guys do that. So if you were wanting to use a VG30 DE from a J30 in the 300ZX application, or I guess vice versa, if you had the motor going the other direction, these are the things you need to change. So let's start up. First one is upper plenum. Um, guys would argue with me on this, but I will uh, show you the slight differences, or at least I see them anyway. So we've got the upper plenum is the big one. Let's see here. As you can see, this is the J30. See, it's got this casting right here that's different. And if I remember right, uh, ding, 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 ding. I thought the throttle bodies were in a different position, but they don't. But they also have these throttle body covers, which some guys actually like. So upper plenum is change number one. Change number two is the engine mounts. Uh, as you can see, these are the engine mounts on the J30 engine. Those are the engine mounts on the 300ZX engine. They are slightly different. As you can tell, this has got two, one. So that's change number two. Three is obviously the exhaust. This exhaust collector system is off of J30 because that's what this block is. Obviously, that's twin turbo, so I can't point to you. And my actual one in the car, you can't see because I've got still in headers. But just be known, this exhaust manifold is different because one's in a sedan and one's in a different car. So there's that. Let's we'll see what else is up next because I got my handy dandy list here, guys. Is fuel rail temperature sensor. Let's see if I can show that to you guys. Ding, 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 ding. Right there that port if i go to this guy over here should have it yeah right there if you see that that's the fuel oil temperature sensor so this is the vg30 out of 300 zx it's got that the j30s do not for whatever reason so you'd have to swap it over all right next up on the hit list 
is coolant tubes in the front. These are bent differently, if I remember right. Yeah. They are, these position out farther. Because that's the J30s. So you can see that right there. It's got a little bit different casting right there and comes on out. If you go over to the 300ZX one, those are completely different. So you can see that. <clears throat> Next up is the heater tubes in the rear. Um, crud, I don't have them, they're gone. Just let it be known, they are different. And then the 300ZX, the twin turbos is obviously different. Uh, and the ones in my car have been heavily modified. So does not count because I've got it where I've cut stuff off. Oil pan, a uh, pretty easy one to see here now. Boy, I hope this video is coming out good for you guys because I'm moving around quite a bit. You can see the lump on the J30s is vastly different than the lump on the 300ZXs. See, it's in the rear there on the backside. And that pan's even different because that's a 300 uh, twin turbo pan, but those are massively different. Oil uh, pickup. Um, because of the way these sit for these oil pans, the pickup is different inside the car. So it's going to be different between these two. So you'll have to relocate and swap over the oil pickup because it just between the two pans, it wouldn't work once you swap the oil pans. Next up is a dipstick. Uh, let's see if I can show it on this one. Uh, cause I removed it. On the Nissans, it's off this side. On the, on, not sorry, Nissans. Well, yeah, off of the 300ZXs, it, the oil comes off the driver's side. On the J30s, it's on the passenger side. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, that port right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. That right there, you have to swap them over because those are part of the, uh, and all you do is punch out the plug and swap it over and then move the pickup. Cause this side, see it's right there. So you have to put, cause this was, you forgot to put that one in here and punch out the plug that's there. Next up, uh, next up is the oil tree. The J30 has it where it's just threaded directly into the block. So the oil filter just threads into the block, nothing fancy to it. The, on the twin turbo, which is different, has, um, the oil tree does this. So you'll have to swap those over to come out because they're flat out different. They relocate because of the turbos, obviously on the twin turbo setup, but also on, the normal 300 ZX application, so you can actually do an oil change because there's no room to get it in sideways. You, you come down with it. Um, they're different. Is a timing cover. And this is kind of pretty important. You don't see it on the J30s. See, this is smooth. A lot of guys like this. But if you go to the 300 ZXs, it's got the spots. Sorry, let's do the spots right here for the PTU. But the J30 doesn't. That's because the PTU it's sitting right here for the J30s. So once again, it's another thing that's slightly different. And once again, you can see that's another casting difference within top of the top of the manifold between these two. I hope everyone's keeping these straight and I'm showing you very well which one's which. Next up, timing covers, which is for the PTU, the rear timing cover. Boy, this one you don't see because this, I messed this up. Yeah, okay. The J30s, which this is, but this timing covers off my 300 ZX because I screwed up. The, there's a bracket right here that's attached. You can't see it on the car, on my car, because I ended up cutting it off. It was in the way. I didn't realize this until after I had put everything back on that I had grabbed the, rear, the wrong rear timing cover. You can modify it. I did. I was a little upset because after you get all the timing gear set, I realized I had the wrong one in the back of this for right here. Valve covers, the intakes on them. Okay, that is the, these guys. This is the J30 
or yeah, the J31. See how these ports are different? The angle down note, you could probably bend these out of the way and make that work. But on the 300ZXs, these go down. They go down and in here, down underneath there. See on either side of the motor, whereas the J30s comes up and sticks out the top. So you'd have to replace, swap out the intake valve covers. After the intake valve covers, you've got the AC mount that I know is different, but could still work. I noticed a difference in them. An AC mount's gonna be there uh, on this car and there here. They're both removed, but they, I replaced them. They're, they're different, but they still might work. Next up is power steering mount and alternator mount. They are on this side. These are slightly different. This is 300ZX's. As you can kind of see, they're a little different over here and over there. I think they could still work. Uh, I went ahead and swapped mine just because I thought there was some discrepancies in between the two. Because like I said, the stuff just needs to mount slightly different for the sedan. I'm not saying it couldn't work, just saying it might. Then the water pumps are different. Uh, let's see if I can see this now. This is the old one. Um, you can't see this because this is the old. The Infinity pump has been gone, but this is the old 300ZX pump because that's what this block technically is. And this, uh, the reason that being is this comes out on the J30, comes out another inch, half inch. It's different. The snout on the water pump is different between these two. So you have to change that or else it won't work in the application. And then the next up is the VTC on the passenger side. Boy, let's see if I can see this. By the way, these are gunked and someone's already tried to fix these. I may not need to go get new ones for myself. The reason I say this is this guy here is different than this guy. And I mean it by about six inches difference. Well, heck, you can see it right now. You can see this guy is chewed sweet longer than that guy. So uh, my side was always the passenger side. This guy got hacked. Wasn't a fan of it. It just happened. Like I said, this has got way massive exhaust mess ups. But the VTC on the passenger side is short for the wiring so you'd have to swap those over and i think that's it everybody i know this is kind of a shortish long video and hopefully i can edit it down to under 10 minutes and i will put a list in the description below of all the things that i changed and i think that are changed um there might be some guys that will argue a little bit but these are things i did and i know it works on my application uh, like i said some of the mounts you may not need to change uh, other guys will say the intakes don't need to be changed. And I'm fairly sure you're they're correct. The intakes, the uh, upper plums may not be, need to be changed. But my response is why use the one that's not for the application? Um, that being said, the differences that I know of, and I think it's probably in tune and maybe the intake and the exhaust manifolds, is that the Infinity J30s, their VG30DEs, their engines were only rated at 210 horsepower. Uh, the ones in the 300ZX were 222. So 12 horsepower difference. I don't know if it's just hocus pocus that they didn't want to have the same engine at the same horsepower or there was restrictions within the intake and the exhaust that made a difference or even a slight difference in the tune in the motor because one was for a luxury sedan and one was for a th uh, two-door sports car. Um, now, the other reason I went with the J30 and this is, now hear me out, my theory is that theoretically the J30 should have engine should have been taken better, been taken care of better by the previous owners. Um, now, at least by the first and second owner for sure. Once you get past the second owner, it's uh, who knows what anyone takes care of. That being said, because the engines wouldn't have been beat on as much as a sports car. So theoretically, I hope oil changes were done on time, timing services were done on time and the engine was just better maintained over the course of its life. That being said, you are buying a motor through a junkyard. You're gonna know what you're gonna get. 
Um, and hopefully it doesn't have a rod knock or anything like that. So if you do get one from the uh, a junkyard, all right, you need to tear it apart ASAP, or at least do compression tests on it and make sure there's no rod knock or anything crazy like that going. So you need to probably pop the oil pan off, make sure all the bearings are good, do a compression test on it, make sure you've got some compression on all the cylinders to go with. Um, because like I said, my previous motor, which this one will be torn apart at some point here in the near future, didn't have any of that. It had, had bad rod knock on cylinder number five. So once again, I guys hope you guys like this stuff. Please like and subscribe. I know it's a little bit of a longer video, but this is really helpful for guys who do need to do an engine swap and are trying to source a cheaper engine. Well, let's just say cheaper engine, a cheaper option to get the same engine. Because like I said, when I bought these, oh god, it was five, six years ago now, the in the junkyards we wanted for a 300ZX engine from the same junkyard, mind you, 750 bucks. Almost eight hundred dollars for the same engine in an Infinity J30 350. It's the same freaking engine, guys. And if you've already got the application with all the parts you need to swap over, it'd be foolish to spend the extra three hundred dollars when you're going to just swap it over. That's what I did, and I know other guys have done it prior to me and probably after me, because I've been very active on the uh, Facebook groups and forums trying to say, hey, this is the stuff you need to do through this application because these things are gone. The J30s are disappearing. We're 30 year old cars now, or 25 year old cars. It's, we're gonna have a hard time finding and sourcing parts. That's where we're getting to this point. So, all right everybody, that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe, every little bit helps. I'm almost to a thousand uh, subscribers and that's gonna be the magic threshold for me to get close to monetization, which I still need more hours, but I think that will come with the content. So everyone, Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.